So now what we have to do is we have to go to different areas of the game, find gambler nobodies, kill them, and take their medallion. Simply disembark from the Black Pearl right here to the ship graveyard, and you will automatically get one. Now, each one of these will have a time limit, so keep that in mind. You need to kill them in that time limit, otherwise I think they disappear into a new area. I don't know. I usually kill them beforehand, but there we go. And only two left. Now, the other reason why I came back here is because the cutscene that ends up occurring gets you from not getting these sort of items, including an Oracalcum, two puzzle pieces. This one right here, what you have to do is you have to do a finishing combo on this. Uh, aerial finisher would work best, so I'm not going to be getting this for a bit. Because I end up moving like an idiot. So let's try it again. Do, 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 do. There we go. Now quickly grab it, because that anchor will swing back. Right, and open this up. And we get the meteor rod for Donald. Uh, it's an interesting rod. I honestly don't really care that much for it, but we have all the maps, but we don't have all the puzzle pieces because I'm still missing that one piece. The one piece. And we are missing one chest. That's when I realized, okay, there's a chest that's somewhere around inside here. First things first, let's go and see how the meteor wand compares, and it has worse. It has a fire-up ability, but uh, eh, not really that useful. But I am missing one chest around here, and it is inside the ship graveyard because this is the only place that's going to have new chests. So I'm going, okay, no, that leads to that way, so where can I go? Ah, there it is. It's inside the corner. So, open this up, and you get an AP up. So, that should be all the chests for Port Royal. So, we are looking pretty good when it comes to chests, actually. All right. So, that takes care of that. And just to make sure, yep, I have all the chests for Port Royal. So, now we need to move on to a new area. Now, what I the area I ended up choosing was Isle de Morta. It doesn't matter where you go. I believe they can show up inside of Port Royal as well. And in all honesty, I should have chosen Port Royal because that's where you're going to have to go once you get all the medallions anyway. So, let us now go to Isle de Morta to get the other two. But, of course, we got to go and fight these guys. And we have rabbit dogs this time. Huh, rather interesting. All right, I need you to come out from inside the shadows, please. Okay, and now die. And goodbye. And we still got some rabid dogs around here, so let us get rid of them. So, down boy. Who is left? Oh, there he is. I was wondering where they were. Now, interesting thing, it said that you could go into the stateroom. I believe if you go into the stateroom, you could actually end up just avoiding all of these enemies, but I think you don't end up going anywhere. I don't know for sure or not. Either way, we are done with that, so now we are at Isle de Muerta. With that absent silhouette still taunting me. Soon, my dear, soon. Alright, and we have another nobody. Uh, we have a pretty strict time limit on this one, but still pretty simple. So, only one left, and I actually got rather lucky, because I think they can appear in any single one of the areas inside here. And here's where I'm thinking, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my shotgun ice, and I'm going to put on magnet, I'm going to get rid of reflect, and I'm going to put on thundara. There's a reason for that. Unfortunately, for what's going to be coming up, I royally screw it up. And the other one just so happens to be here, and they give you a lot of a time limit because you have to find it. Which actually isn't too hard, because I think actually he's right either behind this one or the one that's right next to it. Oh, come on. I have to do finishing combos on it. And there he is. So, give me that medallion. Now. And there you go. Now we have all four, so we just need to return it to the chest. That's four medallions. We got them all. Sora, that means you're going to have to drop your blood. If we find the hooded man, we'll find it. Probably in Port Royal. Why's that? Organization 13 is after people's hearts, so they're gonna go wherever there's lots of people. Oh, it's a good thing Port Royal's They'll goddamn the empty. Book. No, they're bringing them flowers, mate. I don't know who these organizers are, but I will say they're making we pirates look like proper gents. Well, Jack. Then, we have to help.
And let go and hold a run free. All right. So we now need to head back to Port Royal because that seems to be where the chest is because, you know, that organization member is a dirty little liar. Invoke Polly. I didn't do it right. Now, you don't need to worry about there being a battle in between it, but here's the Grim Reaper, but cursed. Go. He's for me. And let's put now these back. Now break that curse. It's just assumed that Sora was bleeding. Then what's this? Oh, I understand. Jack must have been cursed by that monster, not from taking the gold. Oh, I've no worries then. It's okay, Jack. We'll just have to defeat the monster, that's all. Yeah, that's all we gotta do. Uh-oh. Get the gold! Ah, great, it's never that simple. Welcome to what the gimmick of the Grim Reaper's second boss fight is. The Grim Reaper will be taking medallions from the chest. As a result, he becomes invincible to physical attacks. However, he's still susceptible to magic. The magic that you can use on him, mainly Thundara, can actually be used to knock a lot of the medallions out of him. You can keep track of how many medallions he has based on the boss, as well as how many are inside the chest right there. Now, as a result, I should have ended up actually putting Reflect on him. But, here we have Thunder. Uh, what he'll end up doing is he'll end up uh, getting as many medallions as he wants. So, let's go back in, and we're missing 60 of them. Now, he will steal medallions also from you, because when you get hit, you will drop medallions, I believe. But, either way, once you get rid of all the medallions from him, simply put them in the chest, and now we can attack him. So, same thing as before, it's the same sort of battle. Only difference is the fact that you have to watch out because he will teleport, and when he does, he usually will go right in front of the chest and start stealing the medallions like that. See, look, he stole 200 of them, but here we have a reaction command, so... Buddy, stop it! No. Now, have these back. Now let us grab all these medallions right here. Uh, and what I was trying to do, if you do it at the right time, uh, you can actually get him to drop all of his medallions. If you do that reaction command. But I think it was actually fixed in Final Mix for that. But I seem to have forgotten. But for right here, I'm still trying to get it to where I can get them off. And then I decide, you know what, I need to get these inside the chest. Right, so let us grab these. He's got a hundred of them. Now, you can use Magnet to gather all of the medallions as well to help you out, but I I don't think I really use it inside this boss fight. But whenever you attack him with a physical attack when he's in his cursed form, he will drop MP orbs to help you regain your magic, because you can only use magic to get that. And here's me trying to, you know, use Magnet on it. But I'm failing. Ah, great, he's stealing the medallions again. No, stop that. Bad. Have these back. Give me all those medallions. All right, and that should be all of them. So there we go. Broke the curse and shotgun ice and time to wail on him. Now, what I was trying to do is I was trying to get uh, that puzzle piece right there, similar to how I ended up getting it, uh, the one inside of Halloween Town, by seeing if I could get him to hit me, but it doesn't work. All right, now he's going back in front of the chest. No. No. Oh, right now he's going to go in front of the chest. And now he steals all of them. When he steals all of them, he does his ultimate attack, which is this. Which is rather annoying. Heal. Ow. Great. Now I don't have any magic to get any of the medallions out. So here I'm in a pickle. Isn't this just great? So I'm just like, okay, I need to get some magic back. I need to try and do something. Come on, I need to... I'm, I'm just prolonging this boss fight like an idiot. Ow. Come on. Come on. Give me magic. All right. And thunder. 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 Thunder didn't do crap. Oh. Sorry if my voice is cracking a lot. I think I'm getting sick. All right. Come on. Let us. Come on. Let us try again. Now, here's something I also try to do just to be 
greedy. I'm trying to hold all 882 pieces of gold. Don't do what I'm doing. I'm just prolonging this boss fight, which is probably what... This is probably what caused this to be two episodes, in all honesty. Probably what caused this to be two episodes. Come on. Right, and... Two. There we go. Uh, getting quite a bit here. Getting a lot of medals. Just going back and forth. He keeps on doing... He seems to be resetting his... Uh, yeah, he seems to be resetting his AI whenever I do this. So just keep doing this. I've got lovely, lovely amounts of gold. Right? And here I'm just going, okay, Donald Goofy, you end up doing that. I'll end up doing that. And now we get more gold. Leather, rinse, repeat. And here's me. Literally, this is just taking too long at this point. I do not know what I was thinking with this. I think I just wanted to be fancy and just hold all 800. Right, and do that. Because, I mean, literally in one more phase, he could probably die. Right, so I have 875, 882. All right, so let's put these all in the chest. But then I got greedy and decided, you know what? I needed to, you know, get more magic. And as a result, he ended up hitting me. And so he hit 200 out of me. I am literally just prolonging the inevitable. And at this point, I'm like, you know what? This is just taking too long. Because it was at this point I realized, you know what? He's doing that, so guess what? Master form. Guess what happens to you now? You drop it. You drop it all. And this time he's being a little jerk. Right, so you know what? I'm just going to put these in the chest. I'm just going to stop this. Oh, great. He's doing his great magnet. So guess what? Oh, you know what? No. No. Drop them. You will not have these. Give me all those medals. Medals. Right. Oh, no, there is one left. Right. And there we go. So that breaks the curse. So kick his ass. Kick his ass now. And three, two, one. Night, night. And for your reward, you get an upgrade to the magnet spell. That took way too long. And I think that's the entire reason why this is two episodes. But, this time we killed him for good. All better. And not quite, mate. Sora. Bravo. Just who was that chap? He is part of an organization that's collecting hearts. First, they release Heartless into different worlds. We defeat those Heartless, then they get the hearts. We're never gonna stop them like this. What's the plan then? We gotta find their stronghold and finish them off, once and for all. Sail in these waters, I've heard some tales, but not a one like this. Is there any way we can help? Hmm... Anything at all? There is. And we get Ansem Report number six. You know, they keep dropping these all over the place. They need to stop that. And now we're doing what we probably should have done in the first place. Throw this to the bottom of the ocean. Have fun, Ariel. It's certain we don't need the likes of that hooded fellow and the heartless about. They'll ruin the market for us true pirates. So that's why you went to Port Royal. And we thought you actually wanted to save everyone. Ha! A pirate always looks to profit, Miss Swan. Too bad. You had us going there thinking you'd turned over a new leaf. What? Really? The question is, what's beyond the leaf, Sammy? Oh, oh yes. A reward. And what'll it be? That lovely blade of Sora's. Huh? Okay, sure. Huh, <laughs> at least I have it in a form to where Hold it's, on, you know, actually a blade. too easy. Uh, what's the rub? Oh, there you see. Well, you've always got the pearl, Jack. That I do. But someday I'll gather a bloodthirsty crew and come to take that blade. Chance by then, 
I'll have the way to wield it. I think you might have already figured succeed. it out. All I'll explain more of that in Birth by Sleep. Done. Maybe someday Jack will be able to use the Keyblade after all. <laughs> he and Sora are kind of alike, don't you think? Or not. <laughs> Some say Jack Sparrow's the worst pirate ever to sail the Spanish main. No one could really mean that. Right. We know he's the best. I hope we'll get to see him again. Keep wishing, Sora. Something's telling me we're probably not going to have another Port Royal inside a Kingdom Hearts game. But there we go. That completes it. And now with Port Royal complete, we have re-unlocked Agrabah and Halloween Town. It's that weird reading from before. See, I knew it wasn't a glitch. Yeah, but it's still all cloudy and kind of fuzzy. Hmm. Well, we know one thing for sure. What's that? Whenever Sora, Donald, and Goofy go out and help folks, the reading gets stronger. Friendship, motherfucker! Gee, I wonder why. Because the power of friendship. Hey, Sora, we're gonna try to find out more about this reading. And while we do, you fellas just keep on questing. Sounds like a plan. We really are coming on you guys. guys. 